Hi guys, in this video I will continue drawing this furniture for bathroom. And now I will show you all the steps to draw this toilet here. Ok, the first thing I'm going to draw is this part. And I will use the command ellipse. To draw an ellipse, I will click in the arrow next to the command ellipse. And for this case, I will use the option here that says center. I click to insert the center of the ellipse and then I have to insert these distances here. I will start with the horizontal one, which is 350. I press enter and then the vertical one, which is 200. So you can see it. After, I will draw this part at the back of the toilet. I can use the command rectangle and after I can apply fillet there. So, I will type REC, press enter. Then I'm going to one of these extremities, but it would be better to have these points here snapped. So, if I go to the object snap icon, I click with the right button and I will activate also the option quadrant. With this, I will be able to snap these points here. Then, I will hold this one in the right, I drag the mouse pointer up, and when I see the extension line, I type 200. So, this was to enter the first point of the rectangle, and then I just need to insert the coordinates of the opposite corner. For the x axis, will be minus 150. And for the y-axis is also negative, minus 400. After this, I need to round the corners. I'm going to activate the command fillet by clicking here. Now, because I want to convert all the corners in one time, it's easier if I type now P for polyline. Then, before clicking in the rectangle, it's better to check the radius. I type R, and you can see that the current radius is 50, is exactly what I want, so I press enter. Finally, to apply fillet, just click in the rectangle. Now, I'm going to use the common arc and choose the option 3 point. As you imagine, with this option I insert an arc by choosing 3 points. Now, the first point will be the intersection with this arc around here, but it's getting hard to move the pointer. But I can solve this easy by switching off the snap mode. Look, I can move now without any problem. But I'm going to teach you a new tip. If I want my first point exactly on the intersection of the arc, I click with the right button in the object snap icon and then click on nearest. So, when this mode is highlighted, the next point will start exactly from the intersection. The second point I will click more or less here, and the third I will use again the nearest, I click for example here. Then, to do the same in the other side, the best is to use the common mirror. I type MI, press enter, I select in the arc I just created, press enter, then I draw a horizontal mirror line from the middle point here. I don't want to erase the original line, so I press enter. After this part, I need another ellipse inside here. It's very easy with the command offset. I type O and press enter. Then the distance between the two ellipses is 50, so I can press enter again. I click on the first one, and then I click inside of it. Now, I need the common trim to delete these parts there. I click in the proper icon. I select everything. And click in the parts I want to erase. So, I click in everything inside the rectangle and also these sections here and there. When I finish I press enter. 
Now, if you look to the final drawing, I need a line here, so it's easy. I will activate the command line, then I go to this midpoint, drag slowly the pointer left, and then type 50 in order to draw the line at that distance from the rectangle. So, the second point, I can place it somewhere here. I press escape, then I click on the line, I click on this blue square, and I can extend the line till the intersection with the ellipse. Then I click on the blue square in the other side, and I can shorten the line to this place. After, I can use the command trim again to delete these sections. I select these objects, press enter, and delete these arc segments. So it's almost finished, and I only need this circle in the middle. To do it, I will draw first a line from this midpoint till the other side of the rectangle. Then I will use the command circle. I go to the midpoint of the line, I click on it, and I'm going to draw a circle with a radius of 25 because the diameter is 50. Finally, I can delete the line I just created, and the toilet is finished. Okay, it was everything in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Cad in Black to see the full list of the tutorials of AutoCAD. Also, if you need extra help, I can provide private online lessons for beginners. If you are interested, send me an email to cadinblack at gmail.com and I can give you all the details. Thank you and hope to see you next time.